everyone who have subscribed to this channel and if you are new here i say welcome please i would like you to press the red button after that press the bell icon this is where you get notification whenever i upload a video thank you very much for always being here god bless you all mbaka said that buari is not our problem see the names of those people he called out he said when i was shouting it so many years ago that with the style of governance in the country time shall come when people will be running heta skata now it is happening church is protesting everywhere everything bohari everything bohari our problem is immemorial i'm not trying to exonerate him totally but it's unfair not to go back to the history of how our past leaders we are only concentrating on looting our funds thereby leaving us in this mess if we have had a type of bowery before our problems wouldn't have reached to this climax look at the effort he is making in transport sector road constructions which is very good in the history of this nation in area of economy there is agricultural revolution going on empower program to our youth scarcity of fuel is now a thing of the past all to end our suffering he said tell me a nation that has the number of unemployed youths that will not have the insecurity problem which we are having today kidnapping and boko haram is as a result of joblessness and we only push the blame on boari alone the old man is doing his best only that evils of yesteryears in nigeria overwhelmed him that is why i continue shouting on enugu state government to stop demolition of people's shop even if it is to restore the master plan of enugu state it is untimely what we need to do now is to reduce this to reduce this insecurity is to pray fervently for mercy of god to liquidate us in this latter season our governors should go back to their drawing board don't leave the issue of insecurity problem alone to bowari he cannot be everywhere you people receive millions of naira every month for security votes use those money to do meaningful things in your various states engage youth and see whether we will not get right hi guys what do you think about this for the back has said that uh, bowari is not the problem of nigeria he stated that the problem of this country is immemorial that is unfair not to go back to the history of how our past leaders we are only concentrating on looting our funds thereby leaving us in this mess and he also said that if we had had a type of bowari before now our problems wouldn't have reached to this climax he added that he, he, he added that the effort bowari is making a huge effort in the transportation sector even in agriculture that people should stop calling on bowari that bowari is not the problem of this country he stated that the governors of this country should go back to their drawing board that they should that the insecurity problem is not only for bowari and it should not be left alone for him he asked them 
to go back to their drawing board because they receive millions of nairas every month for security votes that they should use this money to do meaningful things in their various states engage their youth and see whether nigeria will not get things right he also stated that uh, buari has tried so much in the terms of empowering the youth that nigerian should stop calling on him wow that is fadambaka we know fadambaka sometime last year december 31st fadambaka made a prophecy that senator uzodima will be taking over mandate from emeke yodora the sitting governor which actually it came to pass emeke yodora was sacked as the governor of Imo State, Uzodima then now became the sitting governor of Imo State T date. The prophecy actually came to pass. But it seems that most Nigerians, the prophecy did not go well, not go down well with them. Some said that God did not speak to Fadambaka, that Senator Uzodima would become the next governor of Imo State, that the outcome of the court case has been written before now, that Fadambaka already had the, the court, the content, then he now speak so to make the masses feel that God speak to him, that God did not speak to Fadambaka. Some said he's a fake pastor. Some said he's a politician in disguise. Why some persons say that actually Father Mbaka heard from God? Now he's here again. He said, Boari is not the problem of Nigeria at all. That the problem of Nigeria is in immemorial. That it is unfair not to go back to the history of how our past leaders were busy looting the government funds, thereby leaving the masses in mess. That this case, that this problem we are facing today is not Buhari, that is from the past administration. Good and fine. We all know that. Is he say something about the Nigerian economy that is getting better. But I want to ask, we know how much we buy bag of rice then, and we still know how much we are buying bag of rice today. We know how much we buy for a little of fuel then, when governor, when a president, Gulo Jonathan was the president of Nigeria. And we also know how much we are buying a little of fear today. It's talking about insecurity. Insecurity in Nigeria is the worst so far for now. It's nothing to tell home about. So I don't know where Father Mbaka is getting all these things. One will be forced to ask, is this man in this country? Things are not working well, and we should not try to cover it up. Nobody is saying Buhari is the problem of this country as well. But we should know that things is not working well. Nigerian is not working well. Nigeria is not working well. It's not working. Nothing is working in this country. The economy of Nigeria is worst. You want to talk about insecurity. One cannot sleep with, you cannot sleep with two eyes closed. Because one is afraid of Boko Haram or S-men, Fulani S-men coming to be head. Or coming to bomb houses whatever 
The problem of this country is in the hands of our leaders, even to date. So nobody should try to shift it anywhere. The problem still remains the same and is even worse now. So I think for Mbaka should know this, that Nigerian problem is worse than what we used to have before. So hi guys, what's your take on this? Please, can you leave your comment in the comment box below? And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much for always being here. Bye for now.